Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. Took the Traveler's Gate back to the present time from the previous little area, and now we are going to get our prize from La Brubla. Whatever the hell it's called. I can't pronounce the name of the fucking town or city or whatever it is. Alright, so let's show that mermaid moon to Colette. Or she can hook us up with the real magic carpet. No, you don't need to repeat it. Meet you by the church. Got it. Understood that part. You don't know where the stairway is? You're supposed to be showing us where this is, right? Why are we finding it for you? Wow. But yeah, you just gotta come over here, mash the button, and you'll find it. Why the hell she couldn't do that? I'm not even sure, man. Yes, we get the real flying carpet this time. Yeah. This guy just kind of shows up out of nowhere. So yeah, I guess this guy's dad was so worried about him that he uh, decided to hide the real carpet from him. And his whole life he's been convinced that that fake one he's had has been the real one. So he's given it to like 30 people or something. Like, here, here's a flying carpet. And then it hasn't worked for any of them. So he's like, He's like, uh, I don't know, he's like the town nut job, basically. All account of his father. Alright, so they're gonna run off. And uh, at least he's happy now to know that we're probably gonna be the ones to unlock the legendary hero. Yeah, when we revive the guy, maybe we'll have to bring him back and show him to uh, Honoré, maybe. Anyway, let's go outside and try it out. Now, this carpet only works in grassy areas, 
so bring it over to a grassy area and that's where you want to try it. Now, to start the Melvin side quest, you know where you unlock Melvin, or Mervin as they call him in this version, uh, yeah, you want to come to this little shrine over here, the Tomb de Arroz Iconis, whatever the fuck, I don't know. It was called something else in the uh, PlayStation version, something I could actually pronounce. But over here we get a green fragment, and we're going to talk to this f spirit guy. Yeah, we got pure hearts and genuine courage. Girl by the name of Sir Mervyn is sealed with a precious stone. As the time of his revival approaches, this stone will grow otter and otter and will begin to shake. Once the time comes, the warriors whose destiny it is to liberate him will climb the stairs to Evan holding the stone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my uncle had a hot stone. Yeah, it's not very likely, but you know what? We might as well ask my uncle what's going on. Yeah, like a relative. Yeah, so we gotta go see my uncle. Yeah, big time lag for some reason there. So let's go back to S. Actually, I could probably just zoom there, but whatever. We can go for a ride. Where is this? I can't even. You gotta put all these coral reefs everywhere, man. Okay, that is Fish Bell. Isn't it? You know what? It'd be just easier if I, uh... No, definitely is. Never mind, we're in the right spot. Yeah, should've just used the zoom spell. <laughs> Would've been easier. But yeah, that flying carpet is a lot faster than it was in the PlayStation version. Flogged it. Oh man, you sold it? Alright, nice. I guess it's good that you made money off them, man. I can pay off your bar tab and your rents. So that's good, right? Yep, Bulgio. That's the guy. Yeah, I know where they're at. Alright, so the first one we want to look for is... Bailearchum. Yep, remember this? There's that one little thing saying, oh, there's like a ferry that can get you across the river. Well, we don't need that anymore, thankfully.
Palazzo di Bugio. Yeah, it's a ginormous house. It's like something I would say. So yeah, that's a clue right there. Um, he's got a mansion in El Ciclo and Grondal. So he's not here, he's not, he hasn't been in his other two houses or mansions, so yeah, trying to track this guy down is a pain in the ass. And he's got demon monsters hanging around in his wells too. Jeez. This guy, man. Oh well. We're good at dealing with these things. Yeah, sword dance is just awesome. You can boost the first attack with it too if you use the oomph spell. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for the uh, subsequent attacks. Still pretty good though. Here, I guess. Oh well, let's loot the place. It's bound to have something good here, right? Ooh. There we go, yellow fragment. Yep, definitely had some good stuff here. And we get a tortoise shell, which is. Better defense for Gabo, but uh, the magic vestment has magic resists, which is way better, and more valuable. I mean, three defense is just three defense. Who cares? Negligible. Yeah, you want to try and find gear in this game that mitigates spells or breath attacks. Defense doesn't really matter as much. Bile and more bile. Yuck. Oh, this guy's pretty high on himself. Hell, we're not rich and we can we can go to the front of the line. I guess he has to wait. Ha ha. <laughs> hey man, every time well, actually, in that certain scenario, we couldn't go to the front of the line. Luckily, we didn't have to wait long. And yeah, we get another bow tie, which I'll sell. Alright, in this chest, we get mini metal number 51. Yeah. And a magic key. Now this item will allow us to open more advanced chests. Only the ultimate key is better. And a top hat. And we're good to go. Okay then, let us 
zoom. Drone doll. Now I don't remember if we have to check all the mansions or just the one in this town. I'm not really sure. Here. There's a question. Oh. Okay, so he's back home already. So what, we just missed him? Sizzler stone. Active imagination. Okay. So I take it talking to that butler should be all you need to get him to show back up over here. Hopefully. Okay, at least we know he's here. Wow, from morning till night. He just stares at the stone. And who's this fellow? This fellow wasn't here before. Your Bolgio son? Oh. So you look like a bum because you don't want to be a target for criminals. And apparently he stinks too, he doesn't shower. Yeah, he's stinkier than those stinky bandits. That's pretty bad right there, man. Hey, uh, why don't you do something about your son, man? He stinks. Fine, come with us then. Yeah, maybe it's a woman. Who knows? But no. Let's go ahead and leave. Apparently he doesn't want to help us. What a jerk. Oh. Well, maybe he does. Fourth party member. Although he's not going to help us fight. No, we need him as a fourth party member to get the real fourth party member. 
so we'll deal with his ass for right now. <laughs> okay then, we are going to rock the flying carpet now. Yeah, this thing is way better than it was in the PlayStation version, man. It was slow in that version of the game. Now, it's pretty goddamn awesome. Pretty much replaces your ship. Okay, so that's Desert Palace. And we could go there. Which is a nice little hut area. And we could also travel to the likeness if we want to, but I don't want to. And... oh, no, we don't want to go there. Yeah, if you fly into this river here... There's a castle over there. We're not going to go to that castle just yet. Yep, there's the um, high and dry tower. But yeah, we'll be going to that castle soon enough, soon enough. carpet over here. Yeah, that tower over there is very tall. This is the world's tallest tower. Yes, sir, it is. Let's take a look. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with monsters. Yeah, man, that's pretty amazing. No treasure on this floor. There's a lot of floors to this tower, by the way. way I'm supposed to go here. Oh, look at that. It wants to be looked after. See you later. Um, one treasure. Get 
another Mercury's bandana. Yay. So that's our fifth one. Five characters, five Mercury bandanas. Best accessory, well, second best accessory in the game in my opinion. It's kind of hard to beat plus 30 to agility. Oh yay, Wayfair is close. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go this way. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Silliness. Oh, I missed. I didn't know you could miss with thin air attack. Yeah, don't walk off the edge there. It'll take you back down to the bottom. You don't want that. Unless you do want that. Unless you're like about to die or out of magic points or whatever. Job with more pay. Okay. Yeah, don't fall off. Yeah, I love mazes. I love these undead with the fucking eye coming out of their socket like that, man. <laughs> I love those guys. I love Toriyama's art style, man. It's great.
Definitely Gabo. Maribel again? Okay. Man, I'm suck at like predicting who's gonna level up. <laughs> Man. There's that chest. Get out of my way. Thank you. Ah. Almost impossible to avoid the encounters up here. Guy. He wants to be looked after. Isn't that nice? And we get a mini medal, number Fucking one. Uh, if you are using a lot of MP in this area, don't worry too much about that. You don't have to fight a boss at the top of the tower or anything, so. Um, use whatever you're gonna use. Leveled up, she got Kaswoosh and Kazing. Yes. The ultimate resurrection spell. This is a lot of floors, man. Oh, 
one treasure. Okay, we got some lifts we can take. Waste the time. Well, let's just try them all. That's great. Thank you. But all the fucking trouble to get it, and it's gotta be empty. Close too. Do these guys have anything better than Wayfarer's clothes? Uh, doesn't this work the way I went before? supposed to go here. Trying to look at the mini map to figure out where I gotta go here. Maybe that's my mistake. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to use it.
through this thing. Pretty badass cutscene for this guy, man. So this guy is from very, very, very far in the past. This dude is ancient. Not only is he physically old, but he's like, you know, he's from like a bygone era. Yeah, the Sizzling Stone is actually the hero. Yeah, even though he doesn't know it, my uncle actually came in useful for once. What that, huh? But no more Sizzling Stone. Damn, man. That dude probably paid top dollar for it, too, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Maybe he's strong. You don't know. I mean, looks can be deceiving. I mean, look at me. I'm a shrimp. Alright, and I can fight. will allow it. Why couldn't we get you earlier on in the game, man? Damn. Fuck yeah, man. Melvin joins the party. Sir Melvin. Or if you don't care, Mervin, I guess. This guy also gives us a red fragment. That's onward. <laughs> yeah, man, this guy is pretty badass. Now, look at this guy. Huh?
<laughs> yeah, this guy's tough, man. He may be old, but he's a tough old guy. <laughs> anyway, to get out of here, all you gotta do is um, fall off somewhere, I think, right? No, I guess you can't do it here. You gotta do it on the uh, previous floor. Uh, oh, fuck. The game will even let me get to one here. There we go. Quest continue. That is great. Now we're gonna take this guy to all trades Abbey immediately. I wish I could have done this with Gabo immediately when I got him. So let's look at this guy's equipment. And it comes with some pretty generic stuff. I might have to um get him some different gear in between videos but the one thing I do want to do this video is at least change his class and his name here I am going the wrong fucking way for that yeah I'm going to be starting Melvin out as a priest and then after that I'm going to make him a martial artist Now they actually give you more characters for his default name for some reason. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, because if you try to name this guy like Sir and then put a space in there and try to do Melvin, there's not enough room. As you can see, like you, you basically you need like two more characters there, but at yeah, Sir Melv, I could call him that, I guess. <laughs> but no, no. Yeah, I'll just call him Melvin. So that's what he was called in the PlayStation version. Yeah, he starts at level 19. So what does he come with? Yeah, he comes with bang, swoosh, mid-heal, poof, zoom, evac, a lot of good spells. And for the abilities, he's got forbearance, which is a level 5 paladin ability. Basically, he'll take damage for all the characters that round. Pretty good, actually. Um, I think it was more useful in the PlayStation version, but um, it's still pretty good.
So yeah, that's Melvin as a priest. It's going to be mastering that one. And then again, like I mentioned before, martial arts. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll continue on with the journey in the next. See you next time. Bye-bye.